Am I the asshole for having my 25F uncle 56M arrested? So I moved into my apartment I own back in 2020. I keep to a very minimalist lifestyle so I don't actually own very much at all. But what I do own, I like it to be a good investment for the long run, relevant for later. I ran into a plumbing issue that wasn't easy to fix at least not for me who knows zero about plumbing. I called my uncle asking if he could help. He came over with my aunt to take a look at what was going on and I don't like her. There are quite a few reasons. She took my grandmother's ring despite it being willed to me. She pushes over people to get what she wants. She uses her mother's death as an excuse, always leaving out that her father and she were, according to those who knew them then, exceptionally cruel to the mother. My uncle used to be really great until she came along, now he bends to her every whim. I digress. She comes and complains that it looks like I am dirt poor. That I have minimal furnishings and that it looks uptight. I say I'd rather make memories than have stuff and leave it there. Then she notices my silver box I keep my sterling flatware in. Now, this is just me, I spent a good year or so saving money to buy nice flatware. My reasoning was it will grow in value, I can pass it along to my children and it will, or can, last a long time. She starts asking me what's in it and I brush her off. She keeps on, as she does, and I say it's heirlooms, not true but still. She keeps on and on and I break saying it's flatware. She then asks me how many places settings and I say I can't remember. She goes on to say she has this, small, dinner party and can she borrow it and I say no. She pouts the rest of the time. They leave with my uncle saying he needs a few tools and a specific part to fix my plumbing and he will come back later. I thank him and say bye. We arrange for about a week later for him to come back with a key I left in the lockbox since I would be working. I come home. I look around. My damn silver box is missing and I know exactly who it was. I call the police I give all the information and show them photos I took for insurance. Long story short my box was in their dining room when they showed up and my uncle is arrested for theft. My aunt keeps calling me screeching at me that I am horrible for this and going to hell for giving him a criminal record. I say she should have thought about that before she made him do that not being able to take no as an answer. The silver itself is a rarer pattern and not easily replaceable. She threw my comment back in my face saying, I thought you wanted memories? It's just stuff, I hung up on her. Here's where I think I am the asshole. My uncle only did it because of my aunt in my opinion. So I am effectively punishing someone who wouldn't have done it without the influence. Then I get mad all over again and think what a breach of trust it is and feel fine. Am I the asshole? Edit. For clarification regarding the ring, I'll just put my comment up here because it got buried. It went missing for quite a while. I didn't actually know my aunt had taken it until I saw her wearing it at a family function years later. She tried to play it off that it was a different ring and I didn't have the money, time or willpower to deal with it at the time with school and everything. My mom was dealing with cancer so I just put it on the back burner. Also edit too. I didn't call them or try to retrieve it myself because of the ring. I didn't want it to go missing if I gave them the heads up. Thank you for all the replies so far. Offer to drop charges for your grandmother's ring, which is rightfully yours and stolen also, or tack that charge on too. Not the asshole. Your uncle stole from you. Bottom line. Not the asshole. Your uncle made the conscious decision to take the silver. He could have told his wife no, but he didn't he took it from you and made the choice his own. Not the asshole. Edited to add. Your uncle committed theft and you rightfully got him arrested. I think, and I'm not a lawyer that she might be charged with incitement of a crime though, so there's hope. Could you also get your grandma's ring back during this process BTW? Not the asshole. Your uncle stole the silver from you. That's serious. He wouldn't have taken the silver if it weren't valuable. Your aunt wouldn't have wanted to take regular, stainless steel flatware. Not the asshole if you press charges include the ring that was willed to you by your grandmother. Not the asshole. You know how my husband would react if I asked hi. To steal from me, probably laugh in my face and tell me I'm nuts. Your uncle is just as bad as your aunt. Not the asshole. Why was he arrested and not she? Am I the asshole for telling my husband? My money is mine? My husband and I had triplets, all boys, about two years. After we got married, they had some health issues. Because of that my husband wanted me to quit my job and take care of our boys and our home. Since it was cheaper than paying for specialized childcare. I agreed. Our family lives in a row of town homes, six homes in our building, that were owned by our landlord at the time. 
I was offered a job cleaning town homes when a tenant moved out by our landlord. I asked my husband about it. He said that he didn't care but he didn't want it to interfere with my responsibilities at home. We also agreed the money would be mine since it's a second job. We did this for three years. It grew into where I cleaned other places for my landlord. I just put the money into savings. My father-in-law died June of 2019. When my husband received a check from his mom I asked my husband about it. He got angry and said that it his money and any future inheritance would not be part of our family budget. My husband ended up going on several trips with his brothers with the money. I was okay with that. Although I was hurt he got angry when I asked about it. October 2021. My grandpa died. I am the only grandchild. My parents make good money so his estate was left to me. I just transferred the money. Rented out the farmland around his home. I did decide to keep his home since it is close to my parents' home. I live four hours away from them. I didn't talk to my husband about it since it was my inheritance. January of this year my landlord came to me and let me know he was selling the townhomes I live in. With cost rising around us I was worried about it. It would cause a major impact in our family budget. Things worked out to where I was able to use my inheritance combined with what I had saved from working to buy the building. My husband came to me and told me he wants me to deposit part of the rental income from the other townhomes into our family account. Allowing more spending money for fun. I reminded him of our agreements. Along with we no longer have a rent payment. We ended up in a fight. He is saying I am being the A for not sharing the money coming in. Why are you married to this greedy hypocrite? His money is his and how dare you even ask about it. But your money is for both of you and how dare you not want to share. Girl. What? He stuck you with caring for three babies with health issues in the house. Not the asshole but. Wow this guy has some audacity. Not the asshole do not bend on this. He wants his money and your money but doesn't want you to have his money. That is not fair. Keep the buildings in your name and keep the rental money. He was selfish so screw him. Also the minute you mix your inheritance money into a joint account or into a county owned building that money becomes up or grabs by your husband if you get divorced. Talk to a lawyer so you are clear on the law. Not the asshole. He established very clearly, early on, that he wanted separate inheritances to be kept out of joint family money. He also agreed that the money you made from cleaning for your landlord would be yours. You were able to purchase the properties with your own, separate money. The income from those is yours. If he wants more fun money, too bad. He wanted all of his inheritance and his family's money to be only for him that's the standard he set. He doesn't get to benefit off of your money too. Especially after he got angry at you for just asking about a check from his mom. Not the asshole but you definitely need a lawyer. Your husband was trying to keep you in a role where you depended on him for everything. That has no blown up in his face. You could easily leave now but depending on laws where you live he would get half. Not the asshole. You're just going along with the policy he wanted when he had an inheritance. He's a greedy sob. He wants his money and your money. Whatever you do, keep your money separate from his. Use your money for you and your children to enjoy. Dot. If you plan a trip for you and your children, using your money, tell him how much he owes for his portion if he wants to go with you. Not the asshole. You are one smart cookie and it must be a huge relief that you can take care of your kids without their father if it comes to that heart. Not the asshole. You did share your inheritance by the way. You bought the damn building and now there's no rent payment. There are deeper issues here though one that might take some counseling. From pushing you to quitting your job, to responding in anger to a question before there had been an argument, to taking multiple vacations without you and his kids. It might be time for you to return to work and for both of you to reassess what is shared in terms of finances and to be honest regular rent income is different than a lump sum inheritance. He may view it more like you having a job and now it's more than just pocket change. The power dynamics here feel a little messed up though and some rebalancing might be needed, with the help of a third party, counselor, to move forward in a more healthy way. My mom's ex did this. When his mother passed away, he gained a sizable inheritance from her and used it on himself. That same year, my mom's mother died and she got a small inheritance. He demanded she used it to fix up the house which was falling apart all around us. There's a reason they're divorced. Not the asshole. Am I the asshole for telling my boyfriend to take back the car he surprised me with? Using my new throwaway account just in case. Okay I, 26 female, my boyfriend, 33 male, surprised me with a brand new car about a month ago. I was super happy and very appreciative. 
My old car was working fine but it was outdated but I never complained about it. Me and my boyfriend never really argue but these last few days have been bad. I assume it's because he is stressed at work so he comes home and drinks and that makes him not physical but just very loud and obnoxious. Everything he says it's always, I just bought you a brand new car and you should be worshipping me, he has been saying that a lot. As I was trying to sell my old car, I had a couple of people interested and they decided they didn't want it. My BF was furious, he acted like it was my fault they didn't want it and he said whatever money I get from the car needs to go to him. Which is logical but I never asked him to buy me a car, I never complained about my old one. I was tired of the rude comments he would make so I told him the only reason he bought me the car is so he can have something over my head and I told him to sell the new car or return it. He called me an ungrateful bitch. I never raised my voice to him ever this whole thing is frustrating. He hasn't spoken to me all day. So am I the asshole for this? Not the asshole. A gift with conditions is not a gift. He called me an ungrateful bitch. All I needed to hear. Tell him he can take the car back and drive the fuck away from you. Not the asshole. Not the asshole he didn't buy you a gift he bought himself leverage. I should also add, he is extremely adamant on me getting rid of my old car. It's like he wants it gone so I wouldn't have anything else to drive besides the new car. We are both pretty well off, if I wanted a new car I could have bought it myself. The car is in my name now and my parents are telling me to take the car and run and ditch him. I'm just confused altogether. Our relationship was going so great before all this. I'm going to talk to him soon, and try to have an actual conversation. Not the asshole. I told him the only reason he bought me the car is so he can have something over my head. You're absolutely right. He just wants to use it to control you. I just bought you a brand new car and you should be worshipping me, this is the only proof you need. Not the asshole I think you may want to reflect on the viability of this relationship. Not the asshole. Trade in both the gift, car and the boyfriend for newer better models. Not the asshole. Why are you letting your drunk, angry boyfriend treat you like shit? Do you really think you can't do better than this guy? Because you can, believe me. Would I be the asshole if I purposely let my roommate walk in on me? I, 20F, have lived with my fiancé, Nate, 21M, for about 8 months. His best friend, Mark, 22M, recently got a scholarship to a nearby college. They both came to me and asked if it was okay for Mark to live in our spare bedroom so that he could save on tuition by not paying room and board. I agreed because Mark said he would help pay the bills so it would be a win-win situation. I always liked Mark and didn't think it would be an issue so I agreed. It's been about a month since Mark moved in, he still hasn't helped pay anything, nor even got a job yet but that's a story for another time. I have found that Mark does not know boundaries. He often oversteps in telling me how to do things in my own house and how to care for my dog but the biggest issue is he never knocks before entering mine and Nate's bedroom. When Mark moved in, I stopped being able to sleep sleep naked or chill in our room after I get out of the shower because he just walks in. There's a bathroom off our bedroom. I told Nate that he needed to have a talk with him about knocking since we never just walk in his room. Nate agreed and talked to Mark about it a few days ago. He beat around the bush a little but Mark apologized and said we wouldn't do it again. When I get home from work I immediately shower and then walk around in my robe for the remainder of the night. Last night Mark said he was going to his room for the night so Nate and I were in bed. I was sitting on top of him with my robe untied and nothing on but panties, I'm sure you know where this was going but at the time Nate was still clothed, when I heard Mark's bedroom door open. I stopped what I was doing and wrapped my robe back around me just in time for Mark to come barging in our room. When he saw me sitting on Nate he kind of laughed and goes, my bad. I just wanted to show him a video. I was annoyed but kind of fake laughed and told him he really needs to start knocking. Nate was irritated but didn't say anything. Mark left the room but killed the mood so we just ended up watching a movie and going to bed. After that I thought Mark would really start knocking. This morning I was lying in bed on my phone without clothes on, like I said, that's just how I sleep, and Nate was still sleeping. I was half uncovered when I hear footsteps so I quickly cover myself back up just as Mark comes barging in again. When he walks in he says he was hoping Nate was awake so he could show him something. I was annoyed and told him Nate will be out when he wakes up. I'm kind of at a crossroads because he is Nate's best friend and I don't want to be rude and blow up on Mark but Nate has already talked to him about knocking and I don't find it fair that I can't relax in my own room. I know that if Nate sees Mark walk in and I'm actually naked, Nate will absolutely flip. 
Would I be the asshole if I purposely let Mark walk in on me naked to get him to start knocking? Not the asshole why isn't your fiancé setting more of a boundary? Did you bring it up with him? Edit. Thanks for all the upvotes. I want to add that op would WNBTA if she lets Mark walk in on her but I don't think that's the best way to handle this. That is probably what Mark wants. Op. Set boundaries, both with Mark and Nate. You would not be the asshole, however, has it occurred to you that Mark might want to get to see you naked? I could see this backfiring and making you even more uncomfortable Mark is definitely the asshole here by the way. It would be much more efficient to just get a lock for your door, short term, and talk with your boyfriend about him setting a firmer boundary with consequences, e.g., if you continue to enter our private space without permission, we will need to revisit our agreement to have you live here. Mark is being super creepy in my opinion and your boyfriend is way underreacting. Not the asshole you need to stop being polite. Next time he barge, thanks for correcting it, in, you need to yell at him to get out. Have a extreme reaction so that he will understand this is not okay. He is knowingly barging in, because he wants to see you naked. Tell your boyfriend you like to feel safe and comfortable in your own house, so either this shit stops or Mark is out. I feel like wanting to walk in on you naked is the only reason he keeps entering in the first place. Update. I had decided against doing this until today when Mark walked in when Nate and I were in the middle of us doing the deed. Needless to say Nate is now taking it seriously and I don't think Mark will be coming in without knocking anymore. Not the asshole but he wants to see one of you naked. Kick him out. Not the asshole. Buy locks for your room. This guy does not know to knock or he is interrupting on purpose. He can hear just like you can hear him coming. Why WBTA in the sense that you're giving him exactly what he wants? Why on earth would you think that'll teach him?